Hey, good morning there. Getting started here in Saugatuck. Board the best chance too. Got a fish on right away here. Welcome to Midwest Outdoors. Feeling good. Feels like a lake trout. <laughs> It's always nice to get one before you get all the lines out. Makes for a good day. This is on a long copper, Jerry. This is like 450 feet. We use the copper, the weight of the copper takes it down to the desired depth that we want by having that length. Mm -hmm. We used to use a lot of lead core, which we can use half as much copper and achieve the same depths as we do with longer lead core. So, and you'll notice that you can feel a much better fight when you're using copper, but that's to get down there. The water's very warm. It's 72 degrees right now. So we got to get down deep to get where the fish are, and we have to use techniques like this. All right, Jer, nice trout. Right. Good job on that. There you go, guys. Fish on. Ooh, heavy one, huh? Easy with him, Swan. He's a good one. Easy with him. He's just hammering down there. It's heavier one than the other one. Yeah, I'd say you're right. That's our best rigger, which you can see we catch the majority of our fish fishing really deep like this on those downriggers. They are the absolute must. Gets us back down there where we got to be the quickest and in, in the most efficient way. And you're gonna you're gonna see that all day that we're gonna keep catching these fish on these on these downriggers. Woohoo! Swanee looks just like you. Look at that thing. Short and fast. <laughs> nice job. You said it, not me. This is probably our number one technique for uh, taking lake trout using the uh, Canon Digitrolls. If you notice as soon as we got that last fish on we uh, just touch the rigger and it comes up automatically. I've got it preset to go back down automatically. It's going to go right to 100 feet. As soon as it stops here I'm going to feather it down because one thing we love about the Digitrol is that it's got a slow start. So a lot of fast riggers, this is running 250 feet per minute right now and a lot of fast riggers will just go down and wag the bottom and it, it follows your gear. So we have the speed, but we also have the luxury of it being slow once we get it down there near the bottom. When you're running real deep and lengthening it out when you're setting the rigger, we like to keep the, the wire against the boat with our retro ease like that. That'll let us keep it up here and out of the other while we're first going down. Then once we get it down there ways, we release it out to its position. All right, Jerry, you got him. We got him, we got him. All right. Another thing I love about the Canon Digitrolls, you just you just touch the up button and up it comes. You don't have to worry about it when you're ready to reset. The rigger's sitting right there waiting for us. Cooler. Come on, Magic, you've caught a million of these. Like, woke him up a little, huh? Out down, Hunter, out down. Got them all, good job, boys. You're always gonna have confusion when you got three fish on like that, you know, moving the rods, getting them back and forth on the way. You probably noticed that uh, we've had the guys sitting down most of the time and holding the rods down. You know how it's traditionally, how it's traditionally been that we always have uh, the rod up. Your grandpa's told you, your father's told you, everybody's always, keep the rod, keep the rod up. What we've noticed with these lake trout when we're fishing them, way down on bottom and way out, is if we hold the rod up, they come up way back there and get on the surface and just thrash and fight all the way in. Well, tournament fishing, we don't want to lose those fish. So we concentrate on trying to keep the fish in the water as long as we can, get them all the way to the boat by keeping it down low and keeping the rod, you know, fishing like you were traditionally should never do, pointing the rod at them and keeping it real low. We land many more lake trout than we ever did. Now salmon, we do not fight that way. We keep the rod up, use the, the play of the rod, and fight them the way you were taught to and, and should to keep up with them. 
Look at there. He's real efficient. That's a complete catch right there. That's a complete catch. See, there's a fish on the diver. So what we like about the cannon rod holders, you can just tip them up and get a hold of this and slide it right out of there. Instead of trying to pull it out straight, it makes it very difficult. And this is a dandy, fellas. Don't lose my fish! All right. There's a boat limit of fish. I think I got the biggest one, guys. Thanks to all the guys for coming out and fishing with us today. Everybody got to have some fun and catch our limit of fish. Uh, if you want to know, if you want to know more about the uh, Canon products that we've been talking about, uh, look at the bottom of the screen here. You can go on their website and check it out. Captain Dave Engel here, Best Chance Two, Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.